We are what we eat. Sometimes this includes things not on the menu. And often, it's too much of a good thing. A spreading menace may ensue. This chicken is hiding a deadly secret. Its intestines are a breeding ground. They are riddled with salmonella bacteria. These salmonella do nothing to harm the chicken. They live in peaceful coexistence with their hosts. But salmonella are always looking to invade other animals. And when they do, it's a different story. Um, nice big smile. Come on, there you go. Give me a nice big smile. Oh, oh stupid. Why did I put the pepper? Oh, right. Even though this chicken is dead, it is still seething with life. Deep inside, its flesh is crawling with millions of salmonella. But if the salmonella are going to survive, they need a new living host. Ooh. How can I help you? Kathleen Oman, Oman's Frozen Vegetables. The company calendar has to be shot by the end of the week, and I've been let down at the last minute. Well, you've come to the right place. Yes, you do seem to be the only photographer in the area. Well, let me see if I can uh, fit you in. Do you want me to come to you? No, I want them shot here, in the studio. Twelve portraits, one for each month, a different employee for a different product. We should start with me. I'm December. I've got a window tomorrow afternoon at 2 p.m. The rest can come on Thursday. Well, I can squeeze you in. Excellent. I'll see you at 2. See you then. Photographics. Photographics with an F and an X. Oh dear. I don't know, Mayor. I mean, competition's the last thing I need. I mean, it's not as if I'm turning down work. No salmonella have survived in the chicken's breast. But the flesh around the leg bones is undercooked. And deep inside, hundreds of thousands of salmonella are still alive. Fancy name is no much for a good reputation. Things will pick up. They always do. Oh, you're probably right, Mayor. I mean, in fact, I, I did get a calendar job coming this morning. There you are, then. Mike Small is about to play host to uninvited guests. One gulp carries thousands of salmonella into his stomach, where they are attacked by digestive acids. Lovely bird, man. Unfortunately for Mike, a few salmonella survived the acid bath. Now they are swept down his intestines by muscular contractions.
The salmonella need a safe place to multiply. One drifts toward the lining of Mike's gut, where finger-like projections, called villi, absorb water and nutrients. The salmonella is heading for the cells on the villi surface. The moment it lands, it invades one and starts to multiply. Now that they have a foothold in his gut, the salmonella will do two things, breed and spread. Thanks. I've been thinking, Mayor. Maybe I should add calendars to my business cards. I can't quite see you photographing carrots for a living. Cats? Carrots? It's all good money. Besides, Oman's is a big company. Could lead to other things. Mm. Only two hours after his meal, the infected cell dies. The salmonella burst out of the cell they've destroyed. They spread to neighboring cells, infect them, and the whole process starts again. Within eight hours, there are a million salmonella in Mike's gut. In another hour, there will be four million. Mike's body needs to defend itself. As cells die, they release a chemical distress signal that alerts Mike's immune system to the invasion. and calls in a rapid reaction force, mobile defense cells called macrophages. They capture the invaders and release a deadly cocktail of poisons to destroy them. But the salmonella have a secret weapon, a chemical counter defense that disables the macrophages. Now, they can breed untouched inside the cells that were sent to destroy them. I worked out a schedule for Thursday. April, that's Claudia from Accounts, will be here at 8.30. Then there'll be one about every half hour, so we should be finished by lunchtime. Fine. The salmonella have been breeding for over 12 hours. And yet Mike feels no symptoms. But all that is about to change. With his macrophages out of action, his body has to resort to cruder methods for dealing with the salmonella. Shall we get on? Yeah. Uh, I wonder, can you, uh, can you just lift these animals up? That's, that's good, yeah. Okay. Great, thanks. Well, just a minute. As the bacteria destroy more and more cells, the chemical distress signal reaches a critical level. Enough to trigger a physical reaction in Mike's intestine. The contractions switch into reverse. Let's, uh, let's do one without the uh, snow, shall we? Okay, that's good. Mike begins to feel nauseous. Okay, uh, bag up a little. 
for the first time, he is aware of the invasion. Oh. Everything all right? Yeah, yeah, fine. Oh. Let's try another one, shall we? His body prepares for a violent expulsion. Food shoots back into his stomach. The flap in his windpipe slams shut. Another blocks off his nose. Vomiting has only cleared the top few inches of Mike's intestine. Most of the salmonella are much further down. Instead of reversing direction, the contractions down here accelerate. As the fluid rushes through, Mike's ravaged gut is hardly able to absorb any water. and it's all gathering at the bottom of Mike's intestine. An unmistakable sensation is building in his bowels. Usually, Mike can override this urge. But fluid is building up so fast that he is about to lose all control. Mike? Is that you? Diarrhea may be unpleasant. Mike? Are you all right? But a single bout flushes around five million salmonella from his intestines. Right now, it's his body's only hope of slowing down the spread of the bacteria. Oh. Mike's been suffering the torments of the salmonella invasion for 24 hours. Losing control of his bowels is only one of his problems. The fierce contractions of his gut are causing severe cramps. And as more cells are destroyed, the building chemicals have an unpleasant side effect. They leak into Mike's bloodstream and seep into his muscles, making them swell. Mike's entire body aches. What's more, the diarrhea is dehydrating him, giving him a pounding headache. How are you feeling? Oh, everywhere hurts, man. My stomach feels like a washing machine. Do you think it was the chicken? Ben's hens were doing a promotion. It was half price. Oh, bloody Ben and his bloody hens. Mrs. O'Man rang. She wants to know what's happening with the shoot tomorrow. Oh, surprised she hasn't fired me after yesterday's fiasco. Oh. It's no good, Mike. You will have to put her off. Diarrhea may help contain the spread of the salmonella, but it can't get rid of it. Mike needs his immune system back in action if he is going to defeat the bacteria. Kathleen Oman. Oh, this is Oman. It's Mike Small here. Look, I'm sorry about the other day. The fact is, I, I've been feeling a bit rough. I, I'm a terrible food poisoning. <laughs> Mr. Small, all I need to know is, are you still available? 